Gimmel Migrate helps you easily migrate content from OpenText Content Server, LiveLink, or Documentum to Microsoft 365. With a point-and-click interface, you can quickly analyze, configure, and launch a migration job, ensuring a full fidelity migration. We'll start by looking at Content Server. You can see we have various folders and documents. As we drill down, you can see we have documents with special characters in their name that will not migrate. Other documents and folders have very long names that would exceed the path name limits allowed by Microsoft. Let's look at the properties on one document. In addition to the general and specific properties, we have categories with custom metadata defined. Plus, some of our documents have a record classification. We also have projects and compound documents that need to be migrated. Gimmel Migrate lets you bring all of this information over to Microsoft 365. Here is our Microsoft 365 SharePoint Online site we're going to migrate the content to. In our site, we have an empty finance library to receive the content. Now let's go to Gimmel Migrate to begin a migration. We start by analyzing the content server environment. We enter our credentials and other content server information. Then we click the Analytics tab. Analytics shows us the structure of our content server environment. We can expand and contract folders as needed to review the structure and select what we want to migrate. On the right are a variety of different settings that we can select. These control how content server is analyzed. We can limit the number of objects to analyze and generate different analytics reports, including MIME types, metadata, and reserved items. We can filter what to analyze by age, and we can generate ACL reports. We can generate a variety of information about what's in Content Server before we ever begin the migration. Now let's move to the Mapping tool, which does the actual migration from Content Server into SharePoint Online. After logging in, we see our SharePoint structure on the right. We can select the target location to migrate to. Next, we begin to configure different migration settings, like how many versions do we want to migrate, or do we have global mappings for metadata or users that we might want to use? If needed, we can even create a new target library on the fly. Now we set our metadata mappings. Here, we can see the metadata columns from Content Server and the available metadata columns and content types in SharePoint. Green indicates metadata columns that have been mapped from Content Server to SharePoint metadata columns. If we need to add additional metadata columns during migration, we can do that here. Let's click Title and then add the plus sign. This will add Title as a metadata column to populate, even though there is not a corresponding column in the Content Server. Now let's look at the results of our metadata mapping. Before we begin the migration, you can view each column and review how the metadata is being mapped into SharePoint columns from Content Server. Now let's populate our new title column we added. From the pull-down menu, we select Title and then replace All. This will replace any values and title for every document. We enter the new value and click Replace. When we scroll to the right, we can see that the title column now contains Imported by Gimmel. We save our changes to the metadata. Users lets me map my content server usernames to my SharePoint Active Directory users. I can map individual usernames, and I can also set a default user for any users that are not mapped. Now we begin our migration. First, we do an analysis step to make sure everything will migrate properly. Then we click Migrate to begin the migration. Our content is burst into packages and uploaded to Microsoft Azure, where it's picked up by Microsoft and imported. The status bar shows the job progression. For large migration jobs, 
you'll always be able to measure the migration progress and see how many packages are being uploaded. Once your job is complete, the bar will show as green. A log file was generated that shows every step that happened maintaining the chain of custody of your content. Now let's take a look at our results. We go to SharePoint Online and view our finance library. We see two new folders that match the folders we had in Content Server. In our financial reporting folder, we see our very, very long folder path has been truncated. Our document with invalid characters has been modified to replace the invalid characters with dashes. If we look at our version history of our document, you see we've captured the entire version history from Content Server, including the Content Server user who created the versions, even though that user doesn't exist in SharePoint. If you would like more information about how Gimmel Migrate can help you take control of your information, visit www.gimmel.com or email info at gimmel.com.